Right, out thing, swing path, we want to try and change that to into out path using the training aid today, but also we need to make sure we get the face and the path married up together. It's all very well moving the path from into out, but if we don't change the face to alter that, we're never going to change the ball flight we're after. Um, that's fact. Still a little bit cold out. Better. This training aid is the inside approach, or it's a take on the inside approach. The inside approach was the original training aid I had, like this. This one is called Pure Swing Path Improver. Yeah. The idea is this foam bar on top of the golf club, top of the golf ball. If I come over the top out to in, I'm going to hit that. This is going to spin round. That wasn't the best example. And there, it's going to spin round. If I get it correct, if I get in the path more to the inside, I'll swing underneath. And I'll go flat out the dynamic lie angle of the shaft, the impact, and hit purer ball strikes. Therefore, I've sorted my path from an over the top move to a more into out path. Today's video is on into out path, getting away from an over the top move, and also some wrist slash forearm action through impact. Forearm action, not wrist action. So, people who come over the top there, this action, are going to smack that bar all day of the week. With this in place, so. They come through and the club's doing this action. This inside approach would help you more this action. So a shallower angle through such motion. So the dynamic line angle of the shaft's a lot flatter through impact. Done a few videos on that in the past. Done a lot of lessons with this lately, it's been really good. It's good fun this. Really good. So we're getting the path or the line of the shaft flatter through impact. That's going to help the path move more in to out. Once we get steep, we're hitting that and we're spinning around, that's when we've got our slice. That seems pretty straightforward. What I have noticed though is when people try this, they change the path dramatically from in to out the from out to in to in to out ball flight can start right and continue further right okay so there's obviously some face and path issue going on there however the ball starting right with the face slightly open the path must be into out so we've altered path brilliant so having used this teaching aid to change path from out to in out to in to in to out ball still goes out to the right so guys that slice it probably slice it more because what they do is when they come through, they've got to go into out, but they shove the handle of the club out to the right as well. So they still get a little bit of high handle, just a fraction, but they're leaving the face miles open. So we need to be able to close the face, have a face and path relationship that works out. It's all very well coming from in to out on this path here. But if the club face points to the right or straight on that path, we're going to block it. If it's further right of that path, we're going to lose it out to the right. So we need to find a way to swing in to out and control face in relationship to that path. Quite hard to hit balls on top at the same time. I've drawn these lines on my glove. Okay, so one's going down and one's going round. One's going down the way, down this way towards golf ball, and one's going round behind me. Down and round. Down and round is the key, not down and up. I'm not going down and then cocking the left wrist not cocking the left wrist, I'm not going down and then cupping the left wrist on the way back up, I'm not going this action, it's down and round. If I go down and then cup it on the way back up, that's when I'm getting the left ball, so therefore I'm closing the face too much, I'm coming into out, but I'm then letting the club head pass the hands, and I'm getting that left one because I've gone in this action and finished with the club head or angle between left arm and club shaft when my arms are both fully extended through the shot, there, instead of here. So I want to go down and round. 
down and round. Path in to out, forearm rotation down and round. Not just wrists, it's not just the wrists. Ideally this would be drawn on my arms. We'd be drawn on my forearms so I'm going down and round and not down and up. So it's not from the wrist, but it's actually the forearm. So this little mark on my wrist, on my glove, sorry, is a trigger to remind me what my forearm rotation is doing through impact to get me into a full extension through the shot. So down and round. Into out path, clubs going down and forearms and going round to a full rotation to full release. Okay. That keeps the left wrist flat through impact. So it's down and round, down and round, and there. That is very different than down and then up to square the face. I'm going to be here, not here. I did a video on swivel action, watch that. It's important. That's what we're talking about here as well. So into out path, squaring the face up by going down and round. How many times I can mention down and round in the one video? It's all very well changing path, if you slice it and you swing out to in and you've got a slice or you lose it out to the right. As soon as you change the path into out, you're going to lose it further right unless you can square the path, the face up, it's going to be related to that swing path. That's where the down and round comes in. So, into out path, down and round. Guys, as always, subscribe to the channel and please leave a thumbs up if you liked it.